everybody, it's Mike from Fishing the Mid-South, and today we are going to go over a rod holder for $62 from Tamu, also known as Tamu from everybody else. So here's the instructions. And from the thumbnail, you will see that it may or may not uh, show extra parts, but on uh, Tamu's website, it does, and that is going to be some springs. Springs are absolute are, are absent from this. Okay, so I've gotten two of these, and I learned about these from Randy Swain. Randy, the old gray-haired fisherman. Where is he? Right there. The old gray-haired fisherman. He has these on his pontoon, one of these on his pontoon boat, and he said it was pretty good value for what it is. So it's sixty-two dollars. It comes like this. Um, it has a base with four screws that are included. And then these two screws here um, attach the base to the base that you permanently attach under your boat, etc. So you can take it off. Now, uh, one of the other things that I want to show here is it shows eight of these knobs, and that's not actually true. Kind of not true at all, because on the base, you have these knobs which have screw in them. On here, you have four knobs which don't have screws in them. They're nuts as opposed to the screw part. Now I talked about those springs. I assumed this is where they went, so that's where I put them, was between the two pieces of the rod holder. And I'll tighten this up. And basically, you know, you can rotate these however you want and lock them into place using these teeth. The same holds true for this. Again, this one is, so we have four of those. We have two at the bottom, so that's six. This one's number seven for the riser, and then this is not even remotely the same, and that's number eight. So <clears throat> just be forewarned on that. So you can unscrew this, and this one also has a, has a spring under it uh, that came that way from the factory, and you can, of course, you know, move this left, right, sideways, whatever. The left and right, I should say. You can't do it sideways. It only rotates. Let me go ahead and put the other one back here at the bottom. Easier said than done sometimes. There we go. Now, what I would like to point out, these welds are actually well done. So this is aluminum, as best I can tell. Everything feels to be aluminum. The bolts probably are not. And let's talk about this here. We'll take this one out. This is another one of the screws as opposed to the nut type. And I want to show you how this comes apart. So, underneath each of these rod holders, the way that the, this grooved base attaches is with two screws right here. Okay, so we got those two screws to hold this piece in place then we'll go back to the rod holder itself. And this is actually tack welded on. If I see there, you see a few tack welds there. So that's how those attach. Let me put this back together, which part of the way here. But I wanted to show, so this is this top piece is actually welded on. You can see it's got a very strong weld on it. But what this piece actually is, and this is different. I got two of them. The other one is different. Very interesting. So the other one is actually, it looks like a piece of four-way gear track where three sides are solid, whereas this has just one piece of gear track in it. And it's got a sliding T-nut from, what are these for? Um, like a woodworking table saw or whatever. They have these little rails and the T-nuts. And like I said, the other one has, it's kind of like a four-way rail, except the three other three sides are solid. And then down here is a screw that keeps it from coming off the end so that you cannot extend it too far. Again, assuming you haven't taken it apart. So that just goes back in there. And you kind of get it lined up about right. And you put the bolt back in there. 
and it comes already pre-assembled. I just can't not take things apart. So what I did want to show you that so even if you crank it down pretty good, there's still a little bit of front to back wall. So it's not side. I mean, so you can see the orientation. So it's it's not side to side wobble, but it is front to back. And I don't know the best way to fix that. I think probably the best way to fix it would be to drill a little hole here on the side, opposite of, or 90 degrees from this one, and just put your set screw or something in there that you can tighten and loosen so it doesn't do this. Now, if you don't need it up that high, you bring it back down, a lot less wobble here. And all the way down, there's pretty much none. And you can ignore this one because I just didn't tighten that back down. So like I said, it does, you, you, once you set the base in place with these four screws here, one, two, three, and four, uh, that's going to stay on your bed. And you can use these two thumb screws down here to take it off so that you can just leave that one little base there. And that's not really different from many other rod holders that I've seen. Now, the other thing is, these are the rod holders that come with it. You can't really change them out. Um, and I keep opening and closing the. I guess if you took those two screws out, then you could pop this piece off and you could use something like a monster rod holder, but it's also it's still not threaded. So you would need to come up with a way to do that. Um, the other thing is, and I should have come here with a, uh, a ruler. I did not, but this is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper. So this would be eight and a half inches. So we're pretty much about six inches apart. Mm. Maybe seven on the center from each rod holder to the next. So as you put rods in here, and I need to tighten that down, that's why it, it really doesn't. That's inside, just like we talked about a minute ago, um, where the extension piece is. But it's firm. These rod holders, they're not, you know, they're not cheap. They're not, they're not going to break off easily earth at all. Um, I would say that this is probably half inch aluminum, maybe three eighths um, for this bar here. I mean, this is, there's a little flex in it, but not much. And depending on how long the butts of your rods are, you know, let's be realistic. These are probably going to want to be facing mostly straight, maybe a little cockeyed to the side. And then you want the end ones out a little bit more so that you can get a wider spread on your baits. So pop this one over probably one. Pop this one over one tooth. And that's about how you're going to want to have it, just like this. And of course, that's actually going to be facing outward like so. So depending on how long your rods are, you may have a little bit of a an issue there. But again, for $62, you're holding four of your rods. You've got a, a, a pretty sturdy base. Like I said, there's, just, there's a little bit of wobble from the inter, inner and outer pieces of this pipe square tubing. Um, it looks to be, I would say, an eighth of an inch on this, this tubing here, the outer tubing. But overall, honestly, it's not terrible. Um, like I said, the welds look good. They're 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 solid. They're well formed. They're you know, they, it looks like a very solid piece of equipment. Again, for the price of sixty two dollars, um, you got the adjustability on the angle side to side of the rod holders. You can't tilt them up or down in any way, shape, or form on this. You can also rotate the entire neck. I'm sorry, that's the lift. This is the neck. 
but you can rotate the neck 360 degrees, however you want to do that. So when you're looking, and I don't even want to compare it to other brands, but other ones that I've looked at, you're talking $25 a piece for these rattles. Better quality than these, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying these are the highest quality, okay? But you're talking 100 bucks just for the four rod holders. That's without the T-bar. The T-bars I've seen, and again, depending on how fancy you get, I've seen them upwards of $200 just for the T-bar. This piece, this piece, and of course, the mounting. Maybe you have to buy even the base separately. I don't know. Um, Tamu does not sell additional bases. So, it is kind of what you get. Um, otherwise, just kind of wanted to bring it to you and show you what you get for $62. Um, again, this, this, this rock is not going to go away. It's, it's not a very pronounced rock, as you can see. Um, even, you know, I would say putting a, putting a piece of duct tape down each side, inside here, would eliminate some of that. At least the noise part of it, right? All in all, not a bad value. Um, Tamu has some good values and they have some bad values. One of the things you really have to be careful for on Tamu is, and I'm sorry, I've called them Tamu for so long I didn't know any better. Um, check the measurements. I have bought some things that I thought would be normal size, and this is from Skipjack Cindy. It's a it's a it's pineapple, and I'm just using this as a reference. If I saw this on there, I would think it was. You know, pineapple size, not this size, and you get it. The measurements are there; they're in millimeters, centimeters, whatever. So you have to do your own adjustment. Real simple: Google millimeters to inches, centimeters to inches. Fill in the numbers; you're fine. Uh, but just a heads up on that. Otherwise, uh, I think this is a good value for what it is. Uh, I've actually thought about trying to figure out. Actually, I'll tell you what I've thought about trying to figure out, and that would be so taking these two bolts out. You just get this base and then manufacturing something that would allow the, you know, so you could push into the ground for a, a, a bank rod holder and have four of these. Here's the problem with that. That's the economics. Okay. I can, I'd have to figure out shipping. I haven't done the exact numbers on it, but there are very, there are a number of different rod companies, whether they be Takedown, Smackdown, uh, Monster Rod Holders. There's, there's, there's a few different companies out there that make half-inch wire, if you want to call it that, whatever this is, half-inch stock. These are three-eighths-inch stock, so bigger, beefier rod holders for 20 25 bucks a piece. When you do four of those... Yeah, you're up, you know, you're a little more expensive, but that's, I still would have to manufacture something for this to sit on. There'd be costs involved in that. If you want to do it as a bank rod holder, I honestly believe, because of the modification needed and the $60, $62 price tag, then unless you want the flexibility of being able to turn this different angles and turn the rod holders different angles and raise it up and down, that those specific bank rod holders would be a better value um, and they're they're more sturdy they're you can put them wherever you want however you want of course with this you would only need one spike two spikes actually one to keep it from twisting and then one to hold it in the ground whereas those you'll usually have two spikes a piece um, so if you're you know in a very rocky area and you can only you know get one hole done then maybe building your own base like I was talking about for this would be an option but in most situations if you're working with uh, just a, a normal dirt um, earthen whatever you want to call it uh, media that you're going to be going into take a hammer get a smack down get a take down get a monster get a and there are several brands cat claws uh, I, I can't name them all uh, and again, I don't know what the shipping would be, but I'm figuring, you know, probably around a hundred bucks total. You could get four better quality,
bank rod holders that are purpose built. These would be great for a boat. You could have one on each side for you know 120 bucks, 125 bucks to your door. You've got eight rod holders on your boat, and you can leave the bases and remove the rod holder itself if you don't want it there. Uh, if you spider rig for crappie, these would be excellent up front. Like I said, these are not these aren't cheap. I mean, well, they're expensive. They are not. <clears throat> they're not going to break on you easily. Um, I don't know if they're going to break at all. Um, anyway, that's what we have here. I wanted to take the opportunity to show it to you. Thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful day, and we will see you on the next video.